Hello, N4H and H here. One more sideband video here comparing the ICOM uh, IC7300 to the Yaesu FT991A. Well, because we have someone out there. There he is. We'll throw the 5,000 into the mix. Turned off digital noise reduction. <laughs> it helps. IPO's on, on the ASUS, no preamp on the ICOM. There he is, WT2T. reductions at 9 on the FT-991A. All three are listening at 2.7 kilohertz bandwidth. Uh, the antenna is a ZS6BKW. Just cleans it up. It's, it's the DSP. Let 
see if I can get some of that high end out of there. Wow, it's already called back. As my friend Joel says, it's like you take a blanket off the speaker. So just use the pass band tuning um, shifted, let me show you. So I'm shifting at negative 150 and narrowing the band pass to 2.4. That's one of the ways I found on the icon to try to clean them up, but listen, uh, we'll go back to the FT-991A. It's just a quieter receiver. Digital noise reduction on the 991A is set to 9, and on the ICOM, go back all the way up, 15. The FTDX 5000. It better hear good. You pay a lot more for that radio, but you do get a really nice low noise floor. But I tell you what, this 991A, that's hard to beat. You know, the one they call the shack in a box. And, you know, it does HF 6 meters, 2 meters, 70 centimeters. Okay, now you might be wondering, what's the drawback of the 991A? Well, I'll show you. So you got to ask yourself, is your choice of a radio going to be made because of how easy it is to operate or, well, how, they all talk good, okay? I mean, the 7300 sound great out of the box. You, if you can't hear them, you can't work them, right? So you got to ask yourself, if what's more important, you know, what's more important to you, is it being able to receive them? Or is it the ease of use? Okay, from an ease of use, the 7300, I mean, it's, it's really, really intuitive and easy. You know, you want to switch bands? Well, press LSB. There we go. Press LSB. There's your, your I mean, a mode. There's your selection. Um, you want to dial in a different filter. Filter 3. Filter 1. You can have all three different, you know, filter curves. And if you want to modify one, just long press brings it up down here and you can modify it and everything's touch screen everything's very intuitive on the uh, 991a you've got this uh, function menu you press and then you here are your settings you know width if I want to narrow the width I hit width and up, now up here it shows width and then I use the multi knob and I'll narrow it to 2400 just like I did on the uh, on the uh, 7300 Okay, now we're listening at 2400, 2400 hertz wide on both radios. So long press to make that go away, get back to the waterfall. Uh, 
So with the 991A, you get this menu, and then you've got it forward through all the different settings. Now you're gonna, you're probably gonna set a lot of these things and just forget them. But you know, for example, turning IPO on and off, you got to hit the function button. There's IPO. Amp one, amp two, and again, if you're not familiar with IPO, it's Yesu's fancy marketing speak that. It stands for intercept point optimization. Well, the intercept point is your first uh, oscillator where you where you're separating what's coming in off the antenna, um, you know, from other signals off the antenna. You're you're using an oscillator to beat against that uh, frequency you're you're listening to on the antenna, and then create your first IF. Well, you can amplify that signal, that first amp IF uh, intermediate frequency, you can amplify the signal there. But on these lower bands, like 40 meters and, and lower, but even sometimes to me on 20 and 30, the amount of noise you get with an amp, and let me, let me do it. You already got a lot of ground noise, as it's referred to, or QRN, atmospheric. Amp 2, just look at that, S8. There's no reason to have that level of amplification on these lower bands. So, uh, you know, IPO simply is really a, a gobbledygook that means turn off the RF amplifier, that first stage of amplification in your receiver, because, well, it's bringing in more noise than it's worth. So it'll, it, it's one of the things that I do to make these signals not have all that grind in them. So on the low bands, I tend to run the IPO. So to get to the IPO, like I said, you know, from here, from... The main screen with the waterfall, you got to press the function key, and well, you might want to leave the page that you use the most up. But you know, again, you got forward and back. So a lot of people don't like the menu system on this radio. Whereas on the on the ICOM, well, you do have a similar you know function button there. There's IP plus. There's your preamp on and off. Uh, you can also do that from here by long pressing. There's a preamp uh, button. Attenuator by long pressing, tap it, you get preamp one, preamp two. Let me switch over to this radio. So, again, bringing in a lot of noise, and even see the OVF it's overloading the front end. So, now this is the equivalent of IPO with the ASU, no preamplifier. And again, I've said this before, I believe the 7300 has a very sensitive receiver, but because it can't deal with the noise as well as the DSP and the AC radios, um, it, you know, you, you can know there's somebody there, but you just can't separate their voice from the noise. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's the drawback on the 991A, is having to go uh, page through this menu um, you know, rather than having some of the uh, options here with the touch screen and long presses uh, that the uh, ICOM has. So again, I'm back to, you gotta ask yourself, uh, are you buying the radio for ease of use and, and how good it looks? Then you want this one. Are you buying the radio because you wanna get out there and, and pull the weakest signals up out of the noise floor? This this 991A is just gonna win. I mean, it's just gonna, it's, it's gonna beat it on that because of the Yesu digital signal processing uh, features. The digital noise reduction, uh, contour is a feature they have on the AC radios that the ICOM doesn't. Okay, hope that helps for you who are out there wrestling with uh, trying to make a decision between these two. Easy interface, good looking radio, not so easy interface. Yeah, I guess you could argue, well, you get used to it and it's okay, but um, you know, not so easy interface, but superior receive uh, and like I said as my friend Joel says sounds like you took a blanket off the speaker when you switch over to this one all right uh, hey thank you patreons for helping me keep the channel going www.patreon.com forward slash n4 h and h for any of you who would like to become a patreon a valued patreon and help me keep this going uh, as you can see I try to take radios I compare them I try to do operating uh, uh, procedures, you know, just going over things you can do with different radios to deal with different situations. So it's a situational type of, uh, of um, you know, I don't know, tutorials, if you will, that I do on the channel here. All right, thanks a lot. And uh, hey, please like the video and subscribe, if you will. That helps us out as well. 
and this is N4H&H saying 73.